Good morning. Good morning. I think we are live here. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. All right. So let's take a look at uh, Niche Duo 83 millimeter flat bird from Niche. Uh, I'm going to big shout out to James from Niche there. And uh, James saw one of my reaction video about three weeks ago. So pretty much I made a reaction video on their web page. Okay. Uh, there was, uh, I think the, the James, uh, you know, his company launched their website on April, April 1st in UK time, okay, in England. So, which means it's about 8 p.m. on U.S. time. So, I made a reaction video on it. You know, I, everybody thought there was an April 1st joke, but it was real. Okay, it was real there. So, I mean, I, mean, I got quite a few views on that reaction video. So, after that, I made couple other reaction video followed by so so James he was nice enough to send me one for the channel so we can take a close look instead of looking at the video you can you guys are actually looking at the grinder right here all right so we are going to take a close look uh, the difference between niche versus niche zero versus niche duo okay uh, and it comes to look and feel is pretty much identical Okay, look and feel pretty much the identical there, but I'm going to show you what's the main difference are. Okay, let's uh, flip the camera for a second. Okay, here we go, folks. All right, let's see. So we have, yeah, set it back right here. Let's set, set them up for a little bit. Okay, there we go, looks better. So let's take a look at the niche, all right? It's about just under four inch, okay? Just under four inch there. Okay, just under four inch. Okay. And then we the duo. It's about five inch. So it's about inch wider. Okay, it's about inch wider there. So that's about five. It's about four. Comes to height. It was about 13 inch there. About 12 inch. So inch wider. About inch taller. Okay, pretty much. You got the inch wider there and inch taller. Uh, comes to width. Uh, Comes the side views. All right, let's take a look. Comes the side. It's about nine inch versus eight inch. Man, it uh, seems like they're kind of like stretch out by inch. Okay. It seems like stretch by inch. So, uh, again, like I say, about a little wider, a little uh, taller, okay? But with Niche Zero, they are using the 63 millimeter conical. So they're using the conical burst from Mazur. And this one, I believe this is also, correct me if I'm wrong guys, seems like to me they are using the Mazur burst as well. Uh, similar style, okay? So this one is a flat uh, espresso friendly. It's already installed, like so. Install the espresso, and if you want to filter, it just needs to remove it, that's all. Okay, and that comes with a uh, brush and special tools as well. So it makes it a lot easier to use. I mean, that's really a nice touch. Okay, give you the screws. This bird set there. Uh, comes to birds, give you a special carrying case, but this is a uh, filter friendly. Again, they labeled it filter. Okay. All right. And so that one has a bottom with a protected cover, just like so. 
I mean, overall, that's very thoughtful design. You can lock it. Yeah. Now uh, comes the dosing cup, identical from uh, slightly thinner. Okay. Slightly thinner there. But did you see inside that kind of somewhat roundish? Yeah. It's roundish versus flat. So it doesn't stuck, okay, in that corner. So they did some little bit of modification, but you know, I'm kind of curious, okay. We know what they look like inside. I'm just gonna unlock this. Just like using niche, guys. The old niche is zero. Okay. I believe that's the set the zero point with it. I believe. I need to find out what that is. Yeah, I think that's the something to do with the zero point. Lock that one in. Set. Okay. So this is important. So this is the where you set uh, rotations there. Okay. The rotation, the three points. Uh, three springs. We got one, two, three springs. So that is the where it's set at. And for this one, we're going to do the pretty much the same thing. And then we need to just kind of like mark it. They give you a set point as well, the sticker. Just so your starting points. Just put the sticker on the top. Yeah. So that is your espresso focus burst. And then pretty much it. You can just take the one screw using the screwdriver, take it out. And then just one screw, take the bottom out, put back in. And put everything back in. And set your coffee. Done. Wow. Uh, comes to replacing birds from filter to espresso. It's, it's going to be pretty seamless. Okay, it's going to be pretty seamless there. All right, let's. Uh, okay, folks. I, uh, so let's recap this. Uh, comes to niche zero versus the duo. As you saw, little taller, little wider. And then, but big thing is the, that we have a conical from niche zero. So we have a 83 millimeter flat. Uh, they give you two birds, espresso and filter. So, man, by the way, let me know. Okay, let me know in the comment section is how many of you right now that are seriously thinking about purchasing niche duo, okay? I mean, love to hear from you. I mean, this is an extremely competitive market for grinders, okay? This is extremely competitive market for grinders right now. So not only we have uh, DF, we have Timer, who else? We have uh, various other companies out there as well. I mean, goodness, they're so competitive. Okay, so I mean, I, I love to hear uh, from you guys. How many of you, you know, you guys are in the market? Okay, you guys are in the market for new grinder at home because uh, I mean, I mean, I love to hear from you. Okay, because so it comes to price wise, niche zero is about uh, niche is about uh, hovering around thousand dollar range there. Okay, hovering around thousand. So, I mean, so that is like very interesting spot. Okay. Very interesting spot. So Jesse say, uh, Jesse say, I'm definitely considering it. My niche zero is my daily driver, even though I have a five. Jesse has a five other grinders that are way better. The workflow is just on parallel. I mean, again, again, I mean, workflow for niche is very simple, very simple. So, I mean, I can definitely see that. We have a micro say, Michael wants to buy the Cafetec MC5, okay. I mean, that is a one fantastic grinder. 
Hold on. And then uh, he said, would you buy again now what you experienced with it? Here's the thing about the, uh, here's things about the high-end grinders, okay? That we are talking about hyper grinders. Uh, we talk about hyper cars, hyper sports cars. There is a hyper grinders. And I'm telling you, I mean, you are buying for the, you're not buying for the cup quality. Let's put, you are buying for, the, you're, you're not actually buying for the cup quality. Because it comes to, you cannot justify spending $3,000 on grinder for better cup than, let's say, niche. Okay, let's say some other, you know, some other grinders. Okay, you are buying for, okay, I mean, more like status. All right, you are buying for the status that is only a few thousand out there in the world. That's it. All right, they happen to be amazingly built, all right? That, that kind of like showpiece. Compare uh, my Calfatec versus my P64. Don't get me wrong, P64 is fine, fine grinder, okay? They're fine grinder. But compare that with MC5, man, I'm telling you, they're in, you know, the, uh, MC5 in a different league. If you're thinking about buying MC5, make sure spend extra money to upgrade it, okay? Don't buy it as stock. I mean, I spend, I'm gonna shout out to my buddy Kumar. Kumar recommend me to Hun upgrade it, which means a custom paint, okay? Looks so much better than uh, just the stock. So it's definitely worth extra dollars to paint the body to black or some kind of little bit of customization because it's a lot more desirable, all right? A lot more desirable. So there's still, comes to price, for the what you get for, no, you cannot, it's hard to justify the price range. But if, uh, if you are buying for the, you know, the one or few people have that in the world, sure. Okay, sure. All right, let's see here. What else? Uh, we have some dogmans on the live chat as well. Garrett's. Uh, Garrett say, is the price difference between Duo and 078? You know what? That is a very interesting question because right now 078 is selling for around 5 540, right? 539. By the way, they are uh, they are in, uh, raising the price starting tomorrow, okay, for time or so. Yeah. So instead of So you're looking at buy one grinder for the duo and then you are going to buy pretty much two grinders for one, okay? A one price, one duo. So, man, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be hard to justify. Okay. So you rather go with. So here's the thing. So you have to ask yourself. I I rather spend one grinder with a, a exchangeable burst with a brew, or buy two grinders with a one espresso and one filter. Okay, and then same time, if you already have a niche at home, if you already have a niche at home, if you want something different, now you have outlets, right? You have now, you have options. Because even Jesse loves the workflow. I mean, I love the workflow of niche as well. Simple. I mean, they're you know, simply flawless, okay? I mean, I love the workflow, all right? Very simple. But... If you want something different, so here's what we're gonna do the next couple of days because I do need to, I do need to season this grinder. Uh, I need to go through about at least a couple of pounds of coffee beans. But you know what? I mean, you know this channel. We're just gonna go, okay? Uh, we're just gonna. I'm gonna show you the workflow with it. Let's put some shot next few days. So you know, let's find out, okay? Let's find out. But I feel like with a niche, you are buying for the workflow because birds are birds, okay? I mean, birds are, I mean, especially nowadays, especially 83 millimeter, millimeter makes the taste great, all right? I don't think there's no bad 83 millimeter birds out there, all right? Uh, if you want to go with something extra, you can go with the lap sweet birds. SSP is coming up with the lap sweet 
start of birds coming out. That's, you know, you're looking at three to four hundred bucks for that birds. So, okay, hold on a second here. So, Nick asked me, are you going to dump your DF-83 versus Keep the Duo? Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do the comparison, Nick. Okay, we need to do some comparison between uh, 83. Yeah, pretty much a DF versus Duo. All right, uh, should be a lot of fun. Okay, I cannot do that. Yeah, I cannot wait to start doing some comparison there. We have a uh, Kirk. Okay, Kirk say I certainly can see myself swapping birds and remembering which setting I have for different coffee I'm using. Okay, I can see what Kurt's point of view. All right. Okay, hold on. Jesse say I'm going to start giving away. Jesse say when are you going to start giving away your equipment? You have so much stuff. Uh, that's in works. Okay, Jesse, that's in works. Yeah, I do have some. I I do have some couple of grinders on my back. All right. Okay. Okay. So Dogman say at the end of the day you are really only going to notice the difference when you taste side by side. Even, I mean, that's the thing about, uh, okay, Dogman is correct. Because it comes to what, which one's better, you have to compare with something. If you only have a one grind at home, who cares? All right, who cares about what kind of birds you have? Because there's only a cup you have. I mean, fortunately enough to, I have me, I can compare with a lot of different grinders at my desk. So, I mean, I can always compare it based on my palate, based on my taste. I can tell you, I can tell you this coffee, okay, from Colombia, okay, with the espresso at a uh, certain grind size. With the water temperature, I prefer coffee from, let's say, Duo versus DF-80, uh, DF all right? But some coffee, guess what? Could be better from DF-83 than Duo. So if someone told you right now, okay, someone say, hey, you know what? Nishi is better than DF, okay? Because it may not be true, okay? Because it all depends on the coffee as well some coffee shines okay some coffee shines better uh, from uh, uh, niche dual burst than let's say even 98 millimeter okay 98 flat the SSP some coffees but some coffees go opposite way so it all depends on what kind of coffee you are drinking that point so I mean it is very hard to tell is our subjective coffees are subjective but if you only have a one grinder, I mean, if you are, you are going to ask someone, hey, which, which grinder should I buy? Because you need to start asking, okay, uh, what kind of the burst, you know, that grinder have, okay? And then, you know, do you prefer dark roast, lighter roast? Uh, what kind of single origin, if you like Ethiopia versus, let's say, Colombia? I mean, all different types of coffee as well. So some bird is better performing than other coffees. So, okay. And then uh, Thomas say, yep, yeah, preference as well. Some people like the high clarity versus that, that is absolutely true. Okay. If you want the clarity, something really clean, you go with like MP burst, multi-purpose. If you have, if you prefer some, you know, a good texture to it, which means more fines to it, high uniformity. So I mean, with this grinders, that's kind of like in betweener, okay? So they give you the some clarity and they give you all the body as well. So kind of like overall, okay? But if you want to that distinct between two cups, 98 flat over there, okay, versus my uh, MC5. Okay, they give you an opposite, okay, opposite uh, point of view, all right. Okay, so, so we have uh, Dr. Safti. No, Dr. Safti said, I received my 64 millimeter SSP, okay, from Hang Sang yesterday. Yep, SSP cast, okay, cast is, yeah, cast is pretty cool, okay. I've been, I've, I've been really enjoying the Caspers. 
Yeah, they're they're not bad. They're pretty good. I I do enjoy that. Okay. I must say I really don't like the yesterday comparison between O64 versus 6 uh DF64. Their mistake in the pulling the shot. Yes. Again. There was an intent to uh make a true comparison. I mean, it is it is hard to compare uh, grinder to grinder in the live streaming, okay? If it, there was a control environment, all right, if it is a control environment, that's easy. I mean, I can actually set it up, dial it in perfectly. I'm going to have uh, one of my guests out there. We can do some serious comparison, okay? I mean, it does take time, all right? But in this channel, I mean, we go live, folks, all right? We go live here, so. Uh, Dogman say, hold on. Uh, Dogman22 say, I, I will also say Lance does a great comparison, great stuff, but he likes to wash coffee on filter. He recommends it, don't necessarily translate to, yeah. Again, it's all depends on the, your taste as well, you know. But again, um, if you want to do some really good comparison, yeah, I mean, uh, Lance does a fantastic job. Okay, Lance does great job in the control environment. But with, again, with the live setting, man, anything goes, folks. All right, anything goes. All right, JD say, okay, yep. Uh, actually, uh, past weekend was the uh, SCA, the expo in Poland. I saw Nick was there. I know quite a few people, okay? Yeah. Yeah, well, let's see here. Let's see what else. Uh, I think we are, yeah, oh, by the way, uh, let me know, okay, let me know on the uh, comment section is how many of you are uh, thinking about getting the, the uh, niche duo, okay, love to hear from you guys, because now you have a lot more options now, okay, if you're not buying niche duo, what's going to be, okay, I mean, what, uh, what you prefer, because now you have a lot of options. Before, there's no whole lot of options at the time. Though back then, it's hard to get a niche. I remember niche was like going for like $1,500 on eBay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So Dr. Safti said Zono. Zono, you are looking at what? $1,300, $1,400. Bucks, and they only make a... Uh, I think they made a big announcement yesterday, right? Yeah. I think they made an announcement. I don't know how many people actually ordered. So, Leopold say I ordered a duo expect by July. Okay. Yep. Uh, Bio say I try also, uh, yeah, try duo with DF83. Yeah. Uh, that's definitely a good comparison there. DF83 versus the niche duo. They're both 83 millimeter. But my duo, uh, my DF83 has the SSP, HU. So now the grinder kind of like bring it up to about, you know, almost thousand dollar range there, you know, 900 bucks. So it's close to thousand. So it's, it's going to be a good comparison, okay, with Niche Duo. Okay, I think Carlos, yep. Carlos say, uh, okay, how did you get it? Uh, you just make a couple of videos, Carlos. That's it. You got to make some couple of videos, good reaction videos. If you got some nice views on it, you know, people are willing to send you stuff. So, yeah. That's the great thing about having it on your YouTube channel, especially coffee channels. Uh, you know, people are willing to send you stuff, you know. So, that's the perk you have, all right? That's the perk you have. Okay. Okay, we have a Cicero say, I got the 80, uh, 78S. Man, 73S. I heard some great uh, feedback from uh, 78S. Okay, I mean, I heard that they're as good as the EG1. Okay, especially the Espresso, the S model. As good as the EG1. That is a tall mark there. Okay, the EG1 is like almost five grand. For that coffee grinder and the 78s is about 500 dollar grinder so 10 times more but cut quality is uh yeah, about the same 
goodness. So, I mean, I love to, I love to try the 78s, but we'll see. Okay, we'll see. Okay. That's what else there. Yep, Carlos say yeah, 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 I, yeah. Definitely is in the, is in the uh, my schedule. Eighty three verse to eighty three. Yeah, I must say uh, I did not say equal. Okay, close to easy one. All right. Yeah. Let's not start the rumor. Okay, I meant let's not start the rumor there. So it's gonna be close to easy one. That's what I heard. Okay, the source is close to me. Okay. Sources close to me uh, say that uh, S is, O70S is uh, as good, so we'll see. All right, let's see here. Oh, the Leopold say, running currently DF64P for the espresso, VS3 for the pour over, have a big expectation on Dua. Man, okay, first of all, you cannot, it, it, it is not fair comparison between Varia, VS3, with 83 flat bar, there are, yeah, there are vastly different grinders, okay? We are comparing apple to orange. So, uh, with the DF64P, I mean, that's, you know, that's fine. That's still similar, okay? But yeah, uh, we've got conical versus flat, especially a large flat. Large flat give you that clarity, so yeah. But, I mean, that is pretty nice setup though, okay? Pretty nice setup. All right, Nick. Uh, Nick mentioned more, uh, Yeah, so Nick likes the more record from the uh, Weber over the weekend. So again, it should be a lot of fun because because I recall Nish was the king way back when. Okay, man. Now everybody wants to tear it down. All right, now everybody wants to tear down the Nish right now. So, but if you love the Nish workflow. So let's find out, okay? Stay tuned, okay? Stay tuned for this. Because I'm very excited about start comparing uh, niche versus uh, other grinders there. Because, because I do want to make uh, some kind of fair comparison. All right? Hold on. Uh, DK asked me, were you getting the SK40? I'm not sure, okay? I'm not sure. Uh, I know Dylan. Uh, Dylan got one from Dylan's Espresso Bar. Uh, he had a review on his channel, so uh, yeah, make sure you check it out, his channel as well, Dylan's channel. Let's see here. I think we are good. It's been almost 30 minutes. Make sure a thumbs up on the video. We got a few people watching, joining us right now. Also, we are doing the simulcast with my Discord friends. So, and then, uh, hold on. B.O. say uh, DF cast versus DF83. Ah, we got, we, we're gonna do a lot of comparison, okay? We're gonna have some fun with the disc grinder, all right? We are gonna, we are going to put to the test, yeah. Uh, should be a lot of fun. I mean, you get to see it live, yeah. Again, uh, if you are looking for something raw and real videos, I mean, you guys are in the right place, okay? You guys are in the right place. And I'm, I'm planning on posting the unboxing video tomorrow morning. Uh, I mean, that's like in a couple of minutes unboxing video. So you should be, should be short and easy. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, Nick, uh, Nick mentioned Ultimate Grinder Showdown with all of my grinders. Actually, I saw uh, Lance is doing on his channel. Okay, you think I have a lot of grinder? Some YouTuber has twice more than I do. Okay, yeah, twice more than I do. Okay, B.O. asked me, I still have the J-Max. Yes, I do have a J-Max sitting right on the top there. Yep. So J-Max is pretty good for the espresso. Okay. I know some of you don't like it, but yeah, personally, I like those. All right, folks. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. Uh, I'll be back later today. Okay, let's, I'll be back later today. Let's make some coffee with Niche Duo. Okay, let's do some, put some shot with it. Uh, let's start with espresso later. Yeah, since we have that, maybe like tomorrow, I'm going to show you how to remove the top. And then let's do some filter coffee. But I do need, uh, I do need to go through some beans though.
Okay, maybe you know a couple pounds for start with. I'm gonna I'm gonna go last check of my live chat there. Let's see, Julio asking me, do uh, you try the Barrio of Brata ESP? No, I have not tried the Barrio. No, Brata ESP. I did reach out to them, but yeah, yeah. I mean, it all depends on the companies. It all depends on the vendors. You know, there are, some vendors are open to sending me stuff. Some vendors are not. So, especially, yeah, it's a kind of hit and miss. If you ask like 10 people, maybe three or four people say yes. Okay. Uh, any th uh, thoughts on Chestnut Slim? I have no idea, Ahmed. Yeah, I have no idea what Chestnut Slim is. Yeah. I think what Chestnut makes, made by what, Timer, right? Is that Timer makes that? Yeah. Timer Mac. I'm telling you, the Timer is a big company. Okay. They sold about 11,000 grinders there in what, last month? So, last time I heard, okay. So I did a reaction video on Niche uh, Duo for my, my small channel, okay? I mean, my channel is not that big. I got 15,000 views on those uh, reaction videos, all right? 15,000 views on my, you know, reaction of Niche's website, which means there is a lot of interest for Niche Duo. We are talking, my educator guess is 30, 40, 50,000 people you know, interesting niche zero, uh, niche duo. Let's put that in perspective. Let's say 20,000, okay? People wants to buy. Timer already sold that already. They, they already have 11,000 backers in last three weeks. So level of scaling, I know some of you already bought the uh, timer grinders. I, I don't, my thing is, I don't think you don't have to wait that long. Okay, so the niche, niche, I believe niche has a, they have their own factory as well. So if you put the order in, I bet you're going to get that in, in a matter of next couple months. Instead of a, some other uh, smaller outfit, you have to wait for a long time. We are talking about three, four months. My Cafetec MC5, I put the order in, I have to wait about four or five months. Okay, like five months out. So, so it's a long process, but... With a, luckily, with a niche or a timer, I mean, you don't have to wait too long, okay? Let's put it that way. All right. All right, folks, so I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. Uh, I'll be back later, and, you know, let's make some coffee with Niche Duo. All right, see you next time.